welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Trying to conceive. Video, I don't know, I think it's four. Um, doing an ovulation test again today. Um, uh, haven't been seeing anything in my on my little underwear pad, um, but I did see today um, like a little white, um, like a white, white creamy um, substance. It wasn't a lot; it was a little bit, but it was there. So I'm curious to see what that's ovulation. So here's a ovulation test thing again from this these people clinical guard www.clinicalguard test but yes so I'm gonna do that right now remember it's three seconds using my makeshift cup put it here you can't see it but so we're gonna hold it to this line here for three seconds. Two and three. Lay it flat for five minutes. And we shall see. Other than that, um, I've been having a great day. I'm going to pour this into the toilet. Um, so I'm feeling a lot better. Um, not so much under the weather as I was um, in previous days. Um, seems like it's coming out um, a lot of whatever sickness that I was battling um, not feeling anything I think more anxiousness than anything I have an appointment on Saturday to go over my ultrasound um, but yeah I'll be back in five minutes so we can check this test okay I'm back so five minutes uh, came and went and still negative I hope you could see the line there it is see if I can hold it so this is where I dipped that's where I dipped that's the line I'm going to show you the negative uh, right there Okay, so there's the first one, and there's the second one right there. It's hard to see from the camera, but there's two lines. One is faint, and according to the negative, if there's one line closest to this darker blue area, it's negative. Or if there's a faint line and negative and a darker line towards this blue part, it's negative. Insufficient would be only one line. Invalid would be one line um, closest. Just one line. Yeah, one line up here would be invalid. But there's two. So we know it is negative. And wait. I'm curious. I'm, I'm excited because, like I said before in a previous video, I've never ovulated, or I never knew when I was ovulating. So, a little background on me I haven't had a period. I, I think I've said this in other videos. I haven't had a period in months. I mean, years. I had one about. Four years ago and it was through Provera and then I had another one recently more recently with Provera um, and nothing so here we go but this is more actively like with medication before we were just trying to do it natural no medication uh, depending on how my body was going with hoping for a period trying to get a period that's what we were trying to do um, and it just wasn't working. It did gain three pounds, so I don't know if it's because I'm stress eating. I haven't been walking as much. Um, but, yeah, I think I'll feel better, hopefully after Saturday, when I get more answers. 
and that's also going into the week of possible ovulation um, and we could do the baby dance <laughs> um, but yeah I'm, I'm going to try my best not to be very like planning about it as far as when the baby dance comes uh, just because I just don't feel like that is genuine <laughs> I don't know but yeah, so again, the journey continues till we meet again. Again, thank you for viewing. Please subscribe, um, make any comments. Um, please, words of encouragement would be great. <laughs> Anybody that went through the same thing, um, anything, anything would be great. Till, uh, till we meet again. Bye-bye, and baby, I will see you soon. Bye.